Hey look, the, the homeless guy over by the uh, storage containers. He's got all the goth set. Min angsty, minus 20 charisma. <laughs> goth cap. Gain, individual gain individuality for insulting others. Depressing. Lose faith in humanity every turn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So what he had banned. Uh, melee at at weapon attacks. Inflict five more damage. Uh, training gloves. Minus five percent damage when blocking. There's a few options there. Figured I might as well. Let's just let's just buy everything. I think they're only single purchase anyway. A few more revive potions. Health potions. Pretty much done with this guy. How do I remove you? You're a homeless person. I'm supposed to take out all the homeless people. I don't think he counts though. Uh, you can even see the goth stuff up there, the little shirts and everything. All right. Well, ne the next stop is I'm supposed to go by the uh, the coffee shop. Hello. I wish City Walk would bring back. I'm so goth. I'm going to Tweak's place. Yeah, that fits the bill. Which of our local coffees would you like to try? Yes. Speed pow potion ultra. Rare raises attack and lets you attack again. It's also expensive. Oh, the dark roast is what I was supposed to buy. Well, now I have that too. Bam. Succeeding on all fronts. Just blowing all my money. <laughs> that purchase qualifies you to be a friend of Tweak Coffee online. As Ooh. a friend of Tweak's, you'll receive fresh homegrown emails. Then we'll sell your information to local spammers. Sure, we could sell it to one of the big national spammers, but I guess we just care a little more. Holy shit, I hate them so much. <laughs> we could, well, two new friends. We should be getting closer to my next perk, but I don't think we're too close. Two more to go. Two more to go. Not too far off. Two for one, not bad. Uh, well, obviously people are waiting outside for, to ruin me, though. 1640. Alright. <laughs> we'll sell your information to local spammers. We could sell your information to big corporate spammers, I guess, but we just care a little bit more. Fuck you guys. <laughs> uh, let's go to Kenny. Just be ready for what comes next. Let's see here. Ah, goddammit. Controls. Ah, alright. If- It just feels natural to use the D-pad here because it's four directions, but I'm supposed to use the joystick. And I messed that up a few more times than I'd like to admit. Alright. Pew, 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 pew. Aha! Hey, there he is! New kid! New kid! The Elf King has requested your presence. You can either come quietly, or you can fight. But I warn you, fighting this fight at this point in the game is a complete waste of time, and you might as well skip it and just come with us. Yeah. There is no way you can win, and fighting us will be a complete waste of time. Are you sure you want to fight? <sighs> okay, let's get this over with. They better still be stunned. Get out of my screen, mouse. <laughs> They're not stunned anymore. No. Wow, they have a lot of health. Almost as if it's almost as if this fight is some kind of waste of time. Ah, uh, probably should take out the guy's armor. Man, it I could be watching TV right would now. also be nice to be stunning enemies, though. Ah, uh, go for the armor now. I mean, this is a bouncing attack, which is pretty nice with this kind of setup. Let's try the bouncing attack, especially since the uh, I'm, I'm going to use Kenny to try to attack as many people as I can in a moment too. We'll give it a shot. Sling of David. Boom! There's some damage, huh? Alright, here- Oh, they're not ready yet. Charm. It's free, so I should probably just use it, right? <laughs> the slide whistle sound. <laughs> That's perfect. Alright. Here we go. Unicorn Stampede. Princess K summons a magical unicorn to stample a row of enemies. This is everybody. Uh, let's do the, uh, the furry friends. How's everyone doing? You ready to be moidered? Are you ready for moider? Don't be dead! Don't be dead! Don't be dead! There we go. Well, it's super effective, and they're bleeding. Yay! What are you gonna do, reflect a horde of mice and stuff? Ow. Wait, did I deflect both those correctly? I think I did actually. He's resurrecting people! He must be stopped! Oh, there he goes. He's, he's been stopped. <laughs> As it turns out. Surprise. He's gonna try to deflect. We're still doing this, right? 
Could just go for that guy in the back and deal with that. Ah, uh, let's just melee him. Reflect this. Oh, it's ah! <laughs> Cut off that line about it being on, huh? <laughs> Epic kiss. H he got HPV. Oh my god. Oh, mess that up bad. Oh no, Kenny is cold. He's also got poisonous murder kisses. Is that what happens when po when poison ivy kisses Mr. Freeze? In that movie. Well, you're surprising. Oh, he has 53 armor is why. I didn't notice that at first. Switch to Butters. So what I find weird is you... Oh. You... you... oh, crap. So you, oh, he, oh, he burned to death already. Cool. We tried to warn you it was useless, but you just had to go and try and fight. Let's go. <laughs> he just hit me in the face with a hammer. It's just like a real hammer. <laughs> so, you're the new kid everyone is talking about. What's your name? He doesn't talk, Elf King. He thinks he's hot shit or something. You're playing for the wrong side, dude! What did Wizard Fatass tell you? That we broke the rules and took the stick last night? He's lying! Cartman is the one you should be fighting against. He's hiding the stick, which is cheating, and acting all betrayed and sad to get you to recruit more people for him. We tracked a Twitter raven who says you are currently trying to recruit the Goths for the Wizard. Go recruit them, but bring them to us. Then we can ransack Cartman's stupid kingdom and get the stick back once and for all! I'm trusting you to do what's right, and kid, if you betray us, we'll tell everyone you're a butthole. I am sending our best ranger to help guide you. The bard is also at your disposal now. Wow, new party members. Did I just get two of them back to back? Yep, Stan and Jimmy. Not selectable right now, but they're there. Uh, alrighty then. I'm wondering if at some point I get, like, a third party member or something, just because I can't help but wonder that, like, uh... In the interface, you scroll- you move the joystick down to change party member, then you choose the character you're gonna switch to, and then you choose which character you're gonna swap them with that's already in the field, and I'm like, well, why- what's the point of let, having you pick your- who you're switching them with if you can't switch your main character out and you only have one party member? That seems kind of pointless. Did you guys even become friends with me? You guys didn't even come friends with me. What's this bullshit? Come here. Don't let Cartman use you. What are you doing? No. Friend request. Friend request. You know what every good bot should have? A flute. If I had a flute, I could play fantastic melody. If I only had a flute. My Facebook says the rancher might be selling one. You know where the ranch is? I'd love to see if I could buy that flute. All is lost. My contacts, my maps, my friends list, all taken from me by the She-Ogre. She has no soul. You will help me battle the She-Ogre and reclaim my iPhone? Perhaps you are one to be trusted. Very well. Let us end this. Oh, his, his awful sister. Turd! Alright, let's go take care of her. She's awful. Any ally of the Elf King is an ally of mine. And my shop is open to you. And he sells... Ooh. Level 6 Elf Blade. That's not bad. That is the that is a straight up high roll sword, isn't it? Uh, Raider's blade. Sword of endings. Long ooh, ninety nine to two hundred seven. Fires two projectiles that crit if you perfect hit. Wow. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy these upgrades real quick if you don't mind. How about other equipment? Minstrel's gloves. These are harder to compare, because our old armor does, like, weird, random effects. So it's not a direct comparison of, like, oh yeah, better defense! Like, it usually it's like, everything does 17 different things, and you have to compare them one by one. Attacks that ignore armor. 
That might be a good thing to have. Heals 25 hit points every turn in combat. Jeez. 10% more blow bow damage, 10% one-handed damage. I'll buy everything, I don't give a crap. I got so much inventory space. We elves craft the finest shit in the land. <laughs> we elves craft the finest shit in the land. More selling of junk! I had more junk than I thought! Holy cow. This, guy, this kid has so many dildos now. Good, congrats. Hey, Jason. This does that. So, alien probe. You've been bested already by a fair margin. Wow, actually. No joke. Take that off. That's the Club of Smiting. That's where to go. Elfblade. It changed what the second slot was, messing with me. So I can do ignore armor. Oh, let's, let's do the ranged weapon too. Mongorian bow. Is it finally time to replace it? This thing does, a, d does just over 100 damage, plus the fire. This thing does 200 damage, well, up to. That's a, that's a gap. We finally beat it. Oops. I meant to do, uh, this. There we go. No. There we go. Wow, even has two slots. That's a big deal. See, 15 shock damage, drain hit points from bleeding targets. Ignore armor, sounds like a great idea. Adds 80 weapon damage when you're level- you have to be level 10, but still, that's a, that's a lot. 20 gross, 1 bleeding. I mean, bleeding's pretty good. Honestly, having these two effects in conjunction seems pretty nice. Drain hit points from bleeding targets, and also inflict bleeding. Seems like a great mix to me, on top of what's already a high damage weapon. Elf blade, do I give you lightning? Or... Uh, maybe we'll go for gross in your case. See, what was the crazy one? Oh, that's the ignore armor. Yeah, I'll make it my anti-armor weapon. I'll have an anti-armor sword and a bleeding, health-leeching uh, ranged weapon. That seems like a good idea. Is that my first ever two-slot weapon? No, there's, there's been... the stabs have had two slots on them in the past. I'm supposed to put on the goth clothes. Oops. The Jewiest goth of them all. <laughs> With an elf sword. Totally fits. Talk to Ranger Bill. And stands. Yeah! I could go to the goth thing, or I could go deal with all the stand and, and re other related stuff. Let's deal with that. The spirit cave says keep out. King's Forest. Got a target up here. And some owl for some reason. Not a ton of selectable targets. There's a Kenny fast travel spot. The humans have raised banners around town claiming elf territory for their own. So saith the Well of Insight. Plus, it's all over Twitter. The Well says balance can be restored only if a chosen one were to fuck up their banners. All you gotta do is go fuck up their banners. Whoa, we, got, we just got Timmy on our friends list. Elvish loyalty patch. 5% hit points. Oh yeah, that, that Timmy would have taken me over the edge for the perk. Just gotta pick what I wanna go with next. Second win. Revive potions used on you or your buddy now re uh, revive the recipient to full health. Seems plenty useful to me. Because it might be a common thing to go down and just not having to heal them afterwards would be really helpful. Can I not go up here? I can. Hello? They, have, they, have, they definitely have a better base. It's almost as if they don't alienate and beat here. down all of their all of their uh fr their friends, because uh, Cartman's shit. <laughs> of course, the other team's probably better, but they don't really do me any favors. They don't do themselves any favors by immediately uh, trying to blackmail slash threaten me into working with them instead of just you know like being cool at all. But the uh, even though they're the good guys compared to Cartman, they've never been great people necessarily, by and large. That's how the show works. The only- I, 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 it's hard to t t it's hard to say if any of the characters are actually that great, even, uh... Even someone like Butters is, like, weirdly innocent, but also kind of shitty. Have I already checked with you? Our king may trust you, but that doesn't mean I have to. Yep, that's that- there's that obligatory character. Well, I don't trust you the way that they do, so mwah. 
Oh, hey, we're gonna be in Stan's house. So Randy's gonna be around here somewhere. Oops. I fully expect to expect to walk in on him and then be like, "It's a this is ectoplasm. It's ooh, sicky goo. Ice cubes. Ooh. Gotta take a look at that one real quick. Hang on a second. Twenty-five frost on a perfect attack. That could be interesting. The ability to slow them down. Keep that in mind. I don't know if I want to switch to it immediately, but it might be something I want to use. So there's the front door. Oh, it's Kyle's house. What, what, what? Well, I must continue my quest. Wish me luck. I must shit in everyone's house. You at least light a match. Nope. Asserting dominance. Not even gonna flush it. I need to mark my territory. <laughs> you think that you two are squabbling against each other? No. Both of these kingdoms shall be mine. Mouse, get off my screen. What are these changes, VHS? Oh. Puberty tapes, I think. Oh, or is it menopause? Oh, got the garage key. Barbarian wig. <laughs> it's a picture of him with Ike, which later revealed to be an adopted Canadian. Because all Canadians look like Ike. Which is distressing. Fuck your bedroom! The whole thing! Wow. Alright. It would be boring, wouldn't it? Because it's Kyle, and Kyle's boring. Because he's the he's supposed to be the moralist voice character. So all that's going on here is there's like, Look! Jewy Jewy Jew Jew! Jew 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 Jew. He's Jewish. Then he's just like, then some regular kid stuff, he's got Chewbacca mask, and he's got his Jewish Cub Scouts thing. Uh, I guess that's cool. Oh! The Guitar Hero guitar, from the, from the Guitar Hero episode, that was great. That was fantastic. That was a long time ago too, that was like season 10 I wanna say? One of those things that seals the deal on just how old the show's been going on, it's like it was like... It was already in double digits by the time that kind of episode happened, and that was like practically 10 years ago, because Guitar Hero's so old now. Hello. Have you seen the new Taco Bell yet? Incredible! All right, that does it! Does it, though? Does it? <laughs> to be fair, it does make up- it does make straight up sword noises. You have to slay the mighty frost giant. I stand in awe of you, Oh, wait, I forgot that guy was really impressed about the whole thing. Chim Pokemon! Stagmata. Oh. Oh, no. Kyle's Mutton Chops? Stigmata, a freaking a Pokemon that references the Stigmata, that's... That's concerning. Oh, I forgot to change back to my normal equipment. Here's that slightly crazy one, heal 25 hit points per turn in combat. Putting on the alien helmet, which does 10% bonus weapon damage. Now there's a look, I'm wearing glasses over glasses, basically. Slightly terrifying. Let's find our way to Stan's hat. Yep, there we are. Is that where I am on the map? Oh yeah, just over here to the left. Right, it makes sense because I'm at Kyle's house. So head over to Stan's house and we can take- we can deal with the She-Ogre. What is that guy doing over there? Should save real quick. Haven't made one of these super recently. What's your deal? Music stealth. You can't see me. I can super see you. Ow! See? See? I can see you so hard. Take cover! <laughs> That's how well I- that's how well I can see you. Alright. Clear. Now, Shioga, we have come to slay you. And what not, where are you? Checkers. Who plays checkers? It's so boring. In the spectrum of, in the full spectrum of tabletop games, why checkers? I like how the people who don't have a- a base in their backyard just don't have backyards. Nothing can prepare you for this battle. If I die, tell the guys I fought bravely. He wants me to tell them that because he's not going to actually... Down on that side is where my parents sleep, and across from that is the cave of the She-Ogre. He's just not going to actually fight bravely, so there's the She-Ogre right down there. Let's check around his room real quick. 
So I got the Sarcasta Ball trophy. Oh, this is my room. I'm never coming out. Holy shit, John. <laughs> Tom Cruise is still in his closet. Okay. And I've stolen his underwear. <laughs> so Sarcasta Ball was when they, uh, they're making fun of the idea of continually neutering, uh, like adding more and more rules and regulations over time to uh, football in order to keep people from being injured and stuff like that. And, uh, and to the point where it just no one's ever getting hurt ever. So he he kept uh, <laughs> Stan kept sarcastic Stan's dad kept sarcastically making up more rules to make the game safer, but then but then they took him seriously and actually made that game. And so you are cordially invited to the annual blood orgy, right up, right up, uh, right up, right down, right, right up, right down, right somewhere. That's gonna be the ho that's gonna be the horrible animals in the forest, though, isn't it? We don't really want that. I mean, I kind of want that to just see it, but also no one should ever want that. But he kept coming out with more and more sarcastic rules about the game until it was just not even functioning a game anymore. But then th they took him seriously and actually made the game work that way, and all the kids actually had a lot of fun with it. And so everyone was being really sarcastic, but he he like sarcastically created a real league. I'm never coming out. And that's Tom Cruise being in the closet. From the the ongoing R. Kelly joke, but then Tom Cruise actually ended up in the closet. Give me back my iPhone, demon! You little turd! I've brought help! Let's see you try and take us both! Ah! Your days are numbered, she ogre! I'm used to the back left room being the parents' room. I thought the I thought the one in the foreground was the was the sister. All right. Well, how tough Hello? she can be? Can she be? She can be tough. Five thousand hit points. Okay. Uh, there's reasons to be concerned. I could bleed them. The longbow does that already, though. Could do magic. We could use a summon. Does she count as a boss? She doesn't count as a boss, apparently. Actually. You got somewhere you'd rather be? Let's see. I want to see Jesus do kosher damage against the she ogre. Lock and load. Jesus Christ. What, that's it? Apparently, yes. Take my iPhone again, and I shall bring justice swifter yet. Get out of my room, turd! She took those bullets really well. <laughs> I bow to you, Ogre Slayer. I'm glad to call you friend. Nice, did it. Leveled up, got a new state. No, got, got, I almost... Got a new stand. <laughs> I meant to say friend request. Let's get on upstairs. Up, 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 up. Didn't finish exploring because I thought that was her room. See the the picture's even on the wall, and it's the one on the left. That's just always where the the parents' room is. But the other one, the other one, the one below is parents apparently. Why has everyone got a Cherokee Cherokee tampon? It's too many. It's getting weird. Open. No, no. See, this is your bedroom. I mean, this, this is your toilet. You're going to live with it now. This is your new reality. Take that poorly constructed light stand. Ooh. Dude. I found all the underwear. I think. Isn't that five out of five? Yeah. Why did I do that? Was there was there even a quest for that? Why did I collect five underwear? I'm not sure what I'm doing with my life anymore. Besides randomly ruining things. Whoa, dude. Really? You're gonna react that way to a fart? There we go. The she ogre is no more. All elves can walk the land of Lena of Larnian safely once again. Kyle Nano's like that. Sparky just took a shit that looks exactly like Cartman's head. And only Kyle likes that. Because Kyle hates Cartman and will like everything that's spiteful towards him. On a perfect success, Circumcythe now inflicts two stacks of bleeding. Yes. Let's see. The attack now leaves all other enemies grossed out. That's also great news. Ah, there's so many good bonuses in this game. Two stacks of bleeding would be good. All enemies being grossed out would be good. But extra attack would be good. I like a lot of these actions. I'll go for this because I like the Divine Shield and I'll go for that for now, but damn it. They made they made good attacks in this game, and I want to use them all. 
Almost like they're designed by like some sort of competent RPG developer or something. It's actually really fascinating to see an overlap between like a, one of the one of the more experienced RPG developers out there making a game for a company like this, South Park, which admittedly very experienced professional people too. But the whole point is being like being kind of poorly made is like half the joke. Finally, finally found the druid robes. Melee attacking enemies take up to three thirty damage. Wow, and six armor, which is nowadays is not a ton of armor. I found the druid robes kind of late, but it's a uh, bonus armor and uh, thorns effect. I think that's the first instance of a thorn effect so far. There's a lot of th little things here. Let's go find a. Uh, let's go find our friend's uh, loot up there by the farm. Let's see. From where I am right now, if I go, where am I? That's the Kevin banner. Sorry, must get to where I am. I'm right here? No? That doesn't seem right. Maybe it is. Well, we need to get to the farm, and I might as well switch out my party members. Even though we haven't had a chance to use Stan at all. But just might as well bring along the guy who's related to the quest I'm doing on. I'm doing right now, since they're quest-related things. Here we go. Losing track of what menu some of these things are in. Hello, loot friend. Loot buddies for life! Am I right? I might not be right. Alright, living a lie. Timmy, living a lie. Living a lie. Oh, look, Timmy. <laughs> Let me guess what the message says. Timmy! <laughs> Everyone's shocked. It's okay going to the forest. Not for the moment. Oh boy, the cattle ranch! We're here! Excuse us! Hello? Hey, get off my ranch! Sorry to bother you, sir. We are elven warriors of the forest. I understand you might have a, f a flute for sale. You want to buy the flute? It just so happens I'm a level 10 bard, and a flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchant- of enchant- Magical songs of enchant- of en- A flute is just what I need to play ma- A flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchant- of enchant- Magical songs of enchant- of enchant- A flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchant- Magical songs of enchant. Magical songs of enchant. Magical songs of enchant. A flute is just what I need to play. A flute is just what I need to play. Magical songs of enchant. Magical songs of enchant. Magical songs of enchant. A flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchantment. Yeah, well, the only problem is the flute's in the barn, and there's where the crazy cattle are locked up. Damnedest thing I ever saw. Some of the cattle started acting real funny. I, I tried to calm them down, but they shouted something in German and, and then tried to kill me. Well, don't worry, sir. You just need the help from a level 10 bard and his warrior friend. Leave it to us. All right, if you say so. Here's the keys to the barn. Wait, did the Nazi zombies infect the cows? The Nazi zombie cows. Well, if somebody said the Nazi zombies were too st were too generic, boy, are they surprised now. All right, cows, it's time to stop misbehaving. <laughs> Looks like we got a fight on our hands. What the fuck? Holy free holy. What even? This is Nazi zombie cows. And there's four of them. How did they even... <laughs> How did they even get the armbands? Let's see. I think they'll attack everybody. But I don't really want to use two bosses... Two uh, summons in one episode. Whirling Doom. Sends your dreidel bouncing between random enemies, stripping away beneficial status effects from all uh, enemies hit. They don't really have effects on them, but I kind of want to just see it in action because I've never done it before. Sp spin left stick. Alright, we'll see how it goes. Whirling Doom. Not as impressive as you might hope. Hello, Jimmy. So he's got a crossbow. These are heavily armored cows. So his ability, power cord. What does it do? Doesn't say what it does. 
Uh, I should have I should have checked his screen before I came in here because it probably was listed on the party member screen. Song of buffness. Jimmy sings a song that weakens enemies while making your party stronger. Lullaby. Uh, Jimmy sings enemies to sleep, preventing them from taking turns until they take damage or wake up naturally. That's probably a good thing to do with this many enemies on the field at once, actually. Uh, press the button shown. Oh, are we, are we about to... we about to guitar hero this? Alright, I'll try. I don't know what buttons might come up. Close your eyes, no more thinking about... thinking about your troubles. Sleep now with Jesus, for you are blessed. That's easy enough. Also, that's not what, that's not what sleeping usually looks like, but I'll trust you. Anyway, let's see. Jujitsu would be good for a stun, but they're currently sleeping anyway. Sling of David would be a bounce. Circumcise would be good for. Ah, uh, let's just actually do my longbow attack. Let's see. Would these folk probably want to do with magic? Yeah. Burn! Ooh, he is down immediately. All right, let's test out Stan. Let's try them Don't both. Try them both out in the same uh, fight since they're both new party yes, members. You have a wolf companion? Where is he? We could use that. Seems like a helpful person to have around. Um, honestly, I should do jujitsu right now. Wait, I, actually, I should check their their effects. Immune to gross. Oh, bonus damage from fire. That's interesting. Oh, that's probably why the magic killed them, because it was burning fire, I think. Anyway, I should probably stun one of these guys. Since it's one less enemy to deal with. Whenever I'm fighting a bunch of enemies like this, one of my priorities is just to reduce the number of people that are going to get turns. Marked for death. Alright. I just assume they take bonus damage or something. Disc uh, discus of Might. Stan hurls a deadly disc. At the target, the disc can chain to random targets. Uh, Stan X gets a whirling sword attack that hits multiple foes. A lot of multi attacks. All right, let's try March for Death first of all. <laughs> it's just a laser pointer. Oh, it's oh look, it's his doggy. So the dog reduces his defense. All right, try Discus of Might. Come on. Wow, that's actually a lot of damage. Also, here comes pain. Oh, shh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Never... Nothing pre nothing prepared me for suicide cows. Well, it's a good thing I didn't use my power on them then, because they're not going to be lasting very long at this point. But nothing, pre nothing prepared me for that. Man, we rip shit up. They all explode into gore. But we better find that flute fast, because he's not going to be happy when he finds out they're all dead. Well-oiled boots. Nazi armbands. I like that the co they, they complement the items as being, like, well-prepared and stuff like that, as opposed to, like, Nazi. <laughs> There's loot upstairs. Something back here, too. Can I get back there? Can I? Adam seems like it would be useful. But it seemed trapped unless there's a way to burn the hay bale down and be an utter, utter monster to this guy. Maybe that's where the flute is. Maybe he'll give it to me. And that's behind. Oh! Or maybe this is how I make fire happen. Sweet. I'm a monster. Yay! There's the flute. That's one mystery solved. The question is whether there's no, is there another fire around here? Maybe I could have been clever if I came in the other way first or something, because there's the window. Huh. Maybe I can shoot this guy down? It's not it's not lit or anything. Well, to carry your problem, also all your cows are dead. You should probably work on that. Where's your friend would want a flute? Oh right. Right today. Hey, you did it! You elves were pretty all right! Did you find the flute? I sure did, Rancher Bill. And now my bardic abilities will be greater than ever before. Well, you earned it. See you around. Thanks, new kid. I couldn't have done it without you. Where should we go next? That's impressive. He actually already knew how to play it, too. 
One new friend. Jimmy. So we can, now we got Jimmy, Timmy, and Stan. This has been a productive episode for that stuff. All right, power cord. Jimmy rocks out with his loot out, gain, uh, granting PP to the party. All right, now we know. Mark for death. Stan shines his laser pointer on the ranger, uh, uh, of the ra- Oh, laser pointer of the ranger on the target's crotch. Sending Sparky to attack. It's too- I wonder why they don't show- maybe I was missing it or something, but I, they didn't seem to have any, uh, tooltip for what those skills did, even though all these other t skills do have tooltips. Unless I was somehow messing that up. We have more than half the Chimpokemon. That one's a Shu. <laughs> His name is Shuey. Because you have to add a Y at the end, otherwise it's just a Shu. Just a Shu. Just a Shu. New message from Jimmy! I'm doing three shows tonight at the Giggling Donkey, starting next week. Here's a sample of my se sample of my sample of my se <laughs> Uh what has two crutches and likes being a bard? Give up this guy. Wow, what a fantastic audience. He can't do the he can't he can't stutter with his with his hands. Or at least we couldn't we wouldn't be able to see that. 